Mork. His name is Mork. And he is not even seven weeks old. Can you believe this monster? What a fabulous puppy. Oh, 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 oh. he's going to be living in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. And I want to talk to you a little bit about puppy ears, because especially on a big bone dog like he is, I mean, when he was born, he was much larger than the other puppies in that litter. Now, his sister, Nola, after about a week, she caught up with him in size, and I thought, wow, look at this female. But then he just took off, and he was just like the, the big dog. Now, when their ears, sometimes, you can see his ears are trying to go up. See, he, they're trying to come up just at the base, but these big bone dogs, their ears and their paws, look at that. Can you believe that? Look at this. He's not even seven weeks old. He's a monster. <laughs> and he loves his daddy. Puppy breath. Ooh, wow. Go ahead. Breathe on me. I like it. I like it. Don't pull my beard out, bruh. Anyway, back to the ears. Their ears and their paws, their front paws, grow first. That's why some puppies that are about three, three and a half months old, their front paws just look humongous and their ears look like, wow, they're way too big. They grow first and then the rest of the dog kind of grows into their ears. Now when you have one, uh, sometimes this happens. Sergeant, for instance. Sometimes their ears will go up at eight, nine weeks old and never fall, never move. They're just up forever. That's the way Sergeant was. That's my microphone, bro. Um, that's the way Sergeant was. But most of them, their ears may go up or one may, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> one of their ears may go up and, or both may go up and then they'll, they'll get heavy because their ears and paws grow first and they'll just, the ears will just start, they'll get heavy and they'll just flop. Sometimes they'll flop into the middle. Sometimes one will flop this way, one will flop that way. Sometimes one will be up real straight and the other one's just floppy. And then all of a sudden one day you come in and they're boom and they're done, they're up. But I, want, I learned something recently and I wanted to tell you about this. There's another item that you can use. I give boiled eggs. If I have a big bone dog and they get five, maybe six months old and their ears are not good and solid, I give them a boiled egg, shell and all, every day. And I also have learned that there's something else really good to get their ears to, to get up and get solid, especially if they're a big bone dog and their ears are slow to come up. And that is Knox, K-N-O-X, Knox, unflavored gelatin. It, it's just really good for building the cartilage in their ears that help their ears stand up. So Knox unflavored gelatin, you just put a little bit in their food. I don't want to show their logo. I don't want to get in trouble in kind of copyright or trademark laws, but it's, it's over where you buy the, the other gelatin products in grocery stores. K-N-O-X, unflavored gelatin and you just sprinkle it in their food a little bit every day, and that will help shore up that cartilage in their ears. Now, <laughs> oh, he's licking daddy. Now he's biting daddy, biting. We need to do a biting update video. Wow, your muzzle is really coming out. You look great, Mork. Are you gonna love your family? He said, yes I am, I can't wait to see them can't wait to see my family. So that's a little update um, product that you can give to your dogs if they have an, a, a slow ear to stand up uh, or their ears are a little soft, that can help you a lot. You, you ready to go? You wanna play a little bit? Come on, baby. I wish you could see him like Do I have a great job or what? That's my microphone, bruh. <laughs>
this was great. Just a puppy ear update. And if you're getting a puppy or you're thinking about getting a puppy, whatever you do, get my puppy training system. It, very inexpensive, save you a lot of time and effort. You'll be confident. The link to it is in the description box below and it will save you so much time, money, and effort. It's kind of like early puppy training 101. It's kind of like a college course and it's parked online. You can go to it and watch the videos, 26 different video chapters, and you can go watch it. You can freshen up next year if you maybe need freshening up or sharpen, sharpening up on a particular part of puppy training. It's an awesome deal and you have it forever. You can even look at it on your phone. All you have to do, go to my website, germanshepherdman.com, or just click the link in the description below. It'll help you a lot. You'll be confident raising your puppy. <laughs> Say thank you. Say thank you, everybody. Whoops. Bye, everybody. Mork and German Shepherd Man. GermanShepherdMan.com. <laughs>